Hello everyone. I am Rishesh Suslade, a software developer by profession and a learner by heart. Today I am going to talk about the resources that I used to learn to code and to learn various aspects of coding. There are lots of things that you need to know as a programmer. So that's why I am going to focus on the four important aspects that you know that you need to know as a coder and as a programmer. Firstly, a coding language. Second, data structures and algorithms. third web development and fourth machine learning and data science so let's get started there are ton of resources to learn to code and as a fresher it is pretty much obvious that you you can be confused from which resource to choose from so let's start with the basics coding languages many of our coding journeys start with studying a programming language and the first language that i learned was c++ and if you are looking to start your journey with c++ or some any other language then i really suggest the new boston the youtube channel by new boston is the place that you are looking for they have a really good playlist from starting from scratch literally from installing the id to making object oriented programming uh, programs so that's a really nice playlist that you can uh, learn from and i really suggest that you refer this playlist or other playlist from new boston to get started with any coding language that you want to start with moving ahead dsa moving ahead dsa dsa might be the most important topic in computer science studies and it is very much important to have good knowledge about these topics so that's why there are multiple resources that i used to master dsa first and foremost geeks for geeks so geeks for geeks has some really great resources really nice blogs on understanding how to uh understand a problem how to solve those things there are some really nice algo uh, blogs on each and every algorithms data structures languages interview corners they have company wise preparation blogs a lots and lots of interview experiences that has helped me a lot in crack cracking amazon and getting my first internship at amazon they have a decent id and the ranking system is decent but in all it's a great platform to learn from moving ahead lead code so lead code has some really great collection of questions that you can practice for if you are planning to uh, give an interview to for a specific company and you have almost 15 to 20 days in your hand then i'll really suggest that you get on to lead code practice as many questions as you can from that company which have been asked previously this will really increase your chances of cracking the coding round and maybe even cracking the coding interview and the best thing about the uh, lead code platform is the discussion forum they have some really nice blogs people frequently post about their interview experiences and all those things so that's why the discussion forum is very much active and you can learn a lot from these discussion forums the next platform that i used was interview bit so interview bit has a really nice collection of uh, questions in a bucket wise manner so they have questions of time complexity in one bucket arrays graphs trees in different buckets so that's it's in really nice to learn through this manner the questions are really nice the best thing about uh, interview that i like is they have a time limit so let's say if you start let's say you open a question and you have only 60 minutes or some xyz amount of time to solve the question to gain full marks for, for that question else it's exponential uh, exponentially the points that you can gain for that co- uh, question drops off as and when you spend more time solving it so it kind of boosts you to think fast think nicely think quicker to get an, get to an optimum solution the one thing i don't like about interview bit is the solution that they expect from us is very much rigid you learn new things you learn to uh, like write you know, write a code in a constrained manner that's why interview bit is also a great platform that you can use moving to the next platform that is hacker rank i use hacker rank a lot this was my first platform where i started coding on they have lots and lots of questions available and uh, that to of various topics so hacker rank is the best place to get started they have a huge set of questions for each and every topic you can just practice 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 a lot on hacker rank and master your skills in this platform the ranking system is decent the ui is ex- exceptionally great and many of your coding uh, interviews or coding rounds will happen on hacker rank 
so that's why i really like hacker rank as a, a fresher you should definitely try hacker rank moving to the next part that is web development at some point as a, a developer you will be making some kind of other, uh, some or the other kind of website that's a web development is also a crucial part of your learning for the, uh, or being as a software developer and there are tons of free resources to get started so i list some few, few resources which have helped me in learning web development traversy media's youtube channel is a great place to start with getting started with web development they have a huge number of crash courses on various topics such as react vue angular javascript css html they have also some playlist where you can like build applications full stack applications and lots of things so that's why this is a great place to start get started another one of the resources is freecodecamp.org's youtube channel so they have really nice uh, playlist uh, and videos so their videos are completely ad free and they go as long as 3 to 5 and even 8 hours long videos where they teach how to build a website with react and all those things so this is a great place to start uh, like get started with web development the next one is hitesh choudhary's youtube channel so these are very short concise videos that you can refer to to like learn new skills so they don't cover a lot of uh, in depth knowledge but it's a good place to get started programming with programming with mosh is also a great place to learn web development he has really n- and v- a nice and vast set of videos to help you get started with various web development and other uh, platforms too so do refer to these channels and yes you can't forget the clever programmer so uh, some of the videos of clever programmer that i really liked was that um, the extensive 7 to 8 hours videos in which he builds a full stack application with react js and other stacks so that you should really uh, like check out those videos too, and that will help you to build, build some really nice programs and applications so that was all about web development so that was all about web development moving to the next topic that is machine learning you must have heard that andrew ng is the best course that you can refer to as a fresher for machine learning topics but to be honest i didn't really get along with it to be honest i haven't completed the andrew ng course till now because i didn't like it it's just too much of theoretical knowledge i didn't just couldn't get along with it and it might be the case with a lot of you guys and it might not be the case with a lot of you guys you must be a die hard fans of andrew ng but i'm sorry to say i didn't just get along with andrew ng's course on coursera so i tried a bit of like off stream path of getting along with machine learning some of the uh, resources that i used was data camps courses so they have really nice courses that you can use to get started with machine learning using python python libraries in machine learning and machine learning algorithms so that's a great place to get started you can also refer to this a to z machine learning hands on python and r course in data science so it it's a very vast course and it covers a lot of things it starts from python and goes all the way to like all the core topics such as data processing regression classification clustering reinforcement le- learning nlp deep learning and all the advanced topics too so you can refer to this course also uh, another resource that i used was this playlist on practical machine learning with python by centedx so i really like this playlist a lot um th- this is he is a really a great youtuber and tells you machine learning concepts in a very easy to understand manner and that too with the practical knowledge and it's a really extensive playlist with which covers almost all the important topics that you need to know if you are trying to get into machine learning I link all these courses and the YouTube channels that I mentioned in this video in the uh, description section. You can check them out and let me know which was your favorite course and which courses have you referred to, to to learn various aspects of coding. So these are the resources that I used to learn coding and various aspects of coding. To be honest, there are a lot more resources that I used to learn various aspects such as system design, networking, operating system, and DBMS. I will try to cover those resources in some other another video. but that's it for now thanks for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye and stay safe bye